Hi guys and welcome to Symbol Tech Working Bench. This week I received several parcels that we can see are lying down on my working bench over there and I'm so excited to see what's inside. So let's find together which goodie I receive inside of these parcels. So let's get all these parcels aside and start opening one by one. So shall I say I'm gonna start with this small one and uh, this one comes on uh, 13 Jan and uh, as you can see it's really not a good part. Well, let's have a look what's inside. It's say fragile because yeah really it's fragile. So just a little bubble wrap around here which it will gonna be hard to see how to open it oh. mm. okay so what we have here so we have a uh, raspberry pi pico because uh, I want to try to play around with them so definitely I'm gonna have some videos playing around with the Raspberry Pi Pico because I have a lot of Arduinos but I don't have any Raspberry Pi Pico and uh, searching around about it I understand that it's quite powerful so maybe we can try to do some uh, small project with this one so let's have a look when I order and how fast this move here and how much cost me so Raspberry Pi Pico I ordered it on 7 January and I received it on 13 January so this means 6 days delivery so it was a UK seller let's see if he has more information about the Pico over there mm. so we can see it's just brand new genuine Raspberry Pi Pico and that's it so the seller is Paradise Computer and as I say I'm gonna do a few tinkering with it and I'm gonna definitely I'm gonna come over with a video how you can do some programs and how you can uh, play around with the Raspberry Pi Pico so stay tuned okay so let's come in with one uh, big from Amazon and it comes on 17 January let's give a cut over here oh 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 I cut through plastic I cut everything oh shit yeah, and lots of goodie over here. Yeah, a bag full of goodies. And this envelope is empty. Okay, so let's see which goodie I get here. So we have three of this kind of power supply boards that uh, you stick them on uh, breadboard and it gives you straight away the power rails. You have a card. A Z delivery and then we have a bunch of uh, this uh, jumper wire because I can if you don't see my last video I'm gonna put it over there when I did the project with Arduino with the dehumidifier project it was hard to find these short jumper reads so I order a few like that uh, when I do some project I have them ready and I like these ones because are round and uh, not like Dupont that I noticed Dupont several times you plug in you just snap from here the, the Dupont ones so I like these ones because these ones are more uh, stronger and they stay longer and then on the back we have also three bread bolts because same I had same like three before it was very hard to find the uh, one that I use it so like that I ordered another tree to have there around when I do some projects so let's see how much I pay on and uh, when I order and how fast they move over here so the breadboard I ordered from uh, Amazon obvious and is this one I ordered it on 15 January and delivered it on 17 January so just two days delivery and let's see the listing so the listing say AZ delivery three time compatible with MB102 kit or 830 tie points solders blah 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 and then cost £12.99 and 
more to say about it is just plug and play. It's easy and I say I ordered it because I get so upset when I was uh, doing that project for the dehumidifier. I couldn't find my things. I don't know in which box they end up. You have three pieces or five pieces which is costing more. But for three pieces I think the price is really reasonable. We're gonna see this stuff in the future projects. So let's go with next one in. It's uh, rapid. Maybe I can open like that, or maybe easy to do a cut. I'm scared, maybe I cut again too. Look, I cut again some plastic over here. Oh yeah. Hope there is no working paper around, no. So let's have a look at this very big bug. So gonna be another small bug with another microcontroller. He'll say Raspberry Pi Pico W. So that one is just simple and this one is W. So what's the difference between them is because Raspberry Pi Pico normal is just simple like that and Raspberry Pi Pico W, let's get out from here has also Wi-Fi on board, so you can see the difference between them. You can understand. So I ordered both of them to to understand uh, the difference between them, how they work, and uh, which one is better for different applications. So stay tuned, please subscribe, activate notification bell, because soon we're gonna have some videos playing around with the Raspberry Pi Picos. And now, let's see how fast is moved here. How much I pay also and from where. So the Raspberry Pi Pico W, same I ordered it from uh, eBay, from a uh, UK seller as well, cost me £7.93 and I ordered it same in 7 January and same 6 day delivery. Let's see if here in description we find more about it. Here it says you have also the picture, it says Raspberry Pi PSC0918 man Pico W single and it say look, it say here which uh, microprocessor using Cortex M0 Plus, course clocked to 133 MHz, hmm, which is really fast, and 2 MB on board of flash memory, 30 GPIO pins, 264 KB of multi band high performance SRAM, and it's capable to do wireless of the 802.11 and the Bluetooth 5.2 and the seller is Rapid Electronics and definitely you're gonna see me playing around a bit with this uh, Raspberry Pi Pico W okay so let's come with the next one same from Amazon which arrived on 16 January and let's see what we have inside this one is nice because I can just pull this one to open it and I need the knife and looks like here we have two bugs Let's get rid of this uh, package. And then what we have here. So this is the first package, which I think is not related to electronics. But they come together. It's something that uh, I order. Now let's see what is. Maybe someone is interested. So some strap where you can uh, hook up things. And they have straps that you can tighten to a tube, to a bar. But mostly I buy this one for the baby trolley. That you can uh, hang up this uh, strap on the handle and you can put your uh, shopping bags over here. So that's why I buy two things that are different. Just to enjoy with the trolley. So those are not for the baby trolley. And here I have some kind of cable. Which uh, I hope is the one that I... I was chosen the picture because I need some cable each that um, with one wire inside and I hope this one is that one because I need for for a project so stay tuned subscribe to don't miss also that project where I need that, like that kind of wire that I can move it and stay like that so I think it's that one so let me just open a bit over here to see if it's the one that I'm looking for and let me see also the thickness of this uh, wire so yeah it's the one that I'm looking for with a single wire inside as you can see over there 
and uh, let's see the thickness of that wire if I can find my caliper around here so let's turn on zero and the thickness it's 0 0.5 so it's perfect for my project so stay tuned subscribe activate notification bell like that you're gonna understand for which project I get this wire so now let's see from where I buy how much I pay on and how fast move here so the cable I ordered on uh, 15 January and was delivered on 16 January so properly only one day delivery which is really good. Let's see the listing so I pay on £4.75 and it said that it's 33 feet long so 10 meters of this cable and as I say I'm happy that I have this kind of cable to do that project that I am planning for so stay tuned please subscribe like that you will not miss that project and what we'll say so one pack bell wire so it's good for bell wire low current figure a normal cable what you can say about it is just using for small projects so yeah stay tuned because you're gonna see the project when I'm gonna use this wire and this is the last one a bit chunky looks like there is two packages inside of this one and this one come overseas and it says here description of goods quantity adjustable DC quantity 2 so adjustable DC so let's have a look what they are a little cut over here because I'm scared now to cut through all yeah so overseas come a bit well packed nothing in this Here we have some kind of foam here to protect them a little bit and two goody two boxes each are nice and we use it as a storage for other things and now let's see what's inside so let's open this one okay come with a nice uh, usual manual so this means uh, should be something uh, good but here is everything in Chinese everything in English okay so this one we can read it later then we have some cable let's see which kind of cable is this one so it's quite long ah yeah, really nice so it's uh, two five pins five pin cable which is one meter and then what we have here we have yeah so I received something wrong so I order something and I receive something else and if also the, the other one is the same so, so no this one is a good one but this one is a wrong one because I ordered two of these ones and I need two of this one I don't need this one so I need to ask a refund because I don't want this one I want two of this one so I can also prove them with the video that I received something that I don't need anyway let's see what is this one because I don't order this one I remember I ordered that one and this one can be I don't know that cable comes to this one it's measuring I think lots of amps because this one is a shunt resistor, very big shunt resistor but it's not what I order so I want money back right because I order this one so let's have a look what I order so it's not well I received something that I not order so I need to speak with the seller because I ordered this kind of power supply each uh, work up to 60 volts with 50 amps I don't know if you see my video when I receive these ones which claim the same that work 60 volts with uh, 9 amps I believe I'm gonna put the video over here when I receive them but there is an issue with these ones until 45 volts I believe is working well As soon you go over 45 volts on this board that I cannot see what is inside there something is getting really hot also without uh, load so 
I was afraid to use these ones for the 60 volts with the dot for my uh, dual ray power supply. So I ordered two of this one, but apparently come only one. So again, I cannot do my project. So I need to order another one because I want to, because I want to do dual ray power supply, positive, zero, negative. So should be power in, power out over here. So in, out, here is, I think, another fan that you can connect. And from here you control everything. So let me try to power a bit this one to make sure it's working. And then to understand what I'm going to do with this one, because I order two of this one and I receive different things. Okay, so let me pack this one back because maybe I might need to send it back because it's not what I order and to get the money back, who knows, maybe I need to set ship back this one, but definitely should be not on my expenses. So if they want it back, they need to pay the shipping and I'm gonna definitely send it back. I really don't need this item. Here it says that is battery capacity tester. I don't need a battery capacity tester. So let me pack it back and I'm gonna try to power say 100 volts, 100 amps. Now I'm gonna try to power this one to see if it's working because I don't want to have a su surprise that maybe even this one doesn't work. So I have here my power supply and it's a input plus, input minus. So positive goes here. Let me see how I can Trunk this runs over here, so positive goes here, and negative goes here. And let's keep this one like that. Let's turn on my power supply. So now I am 5 volts, so let me crank up to maximum. So this power supply I'm using now, it's maximum of 26 volts. So let's have a look what it says here. So if I it's telling me that it's set up to 5 volts on the output so now if I measure the output I should have 5 volts so let's measure also the output so let's have a look here how many we get so we get 5 volts on the output yeah so let's see how I can uh, set up the voltage so yeah here I say that I'm uh, setting the voltage Now constant voltage, so if I increase to let's see 10 volts oh, the resolution is just point 0.1, which is really nice So 10 volts, set up the voltage, and now if I measure, I should have 10 volts over here on the output, so you can see we have 10, oh, 10 volts. And then I say that I can uh, set up also constant current, yeah. Ah, maximum doesn't go because is on 15 maxim so if I go just lowering because it says 60 volts and 15 amps and I needed two to make positive zero and negative but apparently I need to wait to see what's going on with the with the seller if he willing to send me another item or give me money back and like that I can purchase another item but from here yeah we can adjust the the constant current Let's see, just 5 amps, so now it's going to be capable to to push out only 5 amps. And it is nice. With CW, ah, with CW you go to maximum. So you can turn on straight away to the maximum of the power supply, just pressing this button. And from this one you switch off the output and you turn on the output. Which is really nice, but... Um, 
for my purpose, but I'm very planning to build, I needed two of these. So I'm gonna see what is happening and if I'm gonna might receive the next one, I'm gonna let you know when I'm gonna do a video for uh, this uh, dual ray power supply build. So stay tuned. So now let's see from where I buy, how much I pay and how fast moved over here. Okay, the XY6015L, the 60 volt, 50 amps, adjustable DC stabilization regulator, constant voltage, constant current. I ordered it from uh, AliExpress and I ordered it on 7 January and I received it on 20 Jan, so 13 days delivery. And as I say, I'm not happy with this purchase because I should receive two. If you can see here, this item times two. And I received one and the other one battery tester that I really don't need it. I don't know what is, but anyway, I'm not happy with this purchase. So the seller is Modern Storm, which I not recommend because how you can do this mistake? How you can mess up something that I order and you send me different things? Anyway, the order cost me 35 pounds and 35 pence for two of this one. So one is cost just 11 pounds and 92 pence and there is some shipping definitely it's not a free shipping this item anyway what we can say more about it it say here input voltage from 6 to 70 volts and output voltage from 0 to 60 volts output current is 15 amps and uh, as a resolution of 0 0.01 and 0 0.01 for volt and current and say has dissipation is uh, current 2 amp power 50 watts temperature 50 grade celsius current 1.5 amps power 45 temperature 45 degrees celsius anyway i'm gonna try to adjust that kind of heat sink to put a big heat sink here in order to help these two mosfets believe i didn't check what they are but i believe are mosfets and i'm gonna try to make it looks good and had a really good uh, heat sink to dissipate more and more power stay tuned when i'm gonna figure out what's going on with the seller and to send me the second one definitely i'm gonna come with a video when i'm gonna build this dual ray power supply for uh, my bench and before ending this video let's give a test in one of this one to see make sure that they are working and let's give also a test on these two to see if they are working so Practically how this one they work. So if you plug them in here, you can set up to 3.3 volts or you can set up to, to 5 volts over here. Let me show you. So you can set up with this jumper a power rate of 5 volts and a power rate of 3.3 uh, volts by moving the jumpers. And they should work from here with the power. And they should light up this one. But I don't know if I have around one. I can just apply some power over here to see if it lights up the the LED so here I can come up to 12 volts so let me set up my power supply to 12 volts it's about 7 volts is okay so I can stick in any ground which is this one and then I can just touch there so you can see this one is working it's lighting up the led so yeah the power supplies are good and are really very useful and very easy to use because when you do some projecting on the pcb board you just power plug them in and then you have 12 volts here and you have 5 volts and uh, and 3.3 volts if you are working with the esps or because they are powering at 3.3 volts and also you can power 5 volts over here, but say that if you power 5 volts for here, you will not be able to have enough uh, power on the on the regulator, because the regulator that is here, one is the 5 volts and one is the 3.3, need more than 5 volts in order to regulate again the voltage over here. So I recommend when you use this one to power from here. So now let me also power a bit these two picos to see if, I think by the default should be same like Arduino to have inside the code of uh, LED flashing. Let's have a look. It's first time for me having the raspberry around. If I plug the USB, let's see what's happening over here. So the computer recognized because I heard the beep, but uh, it's not uh, lighting any LED, so it's not like Arduino. Let's have a look the other one as well. The other one as well. It's recognizing and is working. I'm going to tinkering a bit and I'm going to definitely have some videos coming in soon with this uh, Raspberry Pi Picos projects.
So this was the content of this uh, Melby video. Not too much happy because I was expecting receiving two power supplies and I receive only one and a battery tester, capacity tester each. I don't need it. Okay, so guys, stay tuned. Please subscribe, activate the notification bell like that you will not miss the next videos. And stay safe and bye bye.